Good morning. I hope you're all well this morning. I'm drinking my super swig. And it's a good look for a video. It leaves nice dark grime all over my teeth. That's attractive. I didn't think of that when I started drinking this. Okay. <laughs> I should stop drinking this while I'm on video. It's awful looking. If you guys haven't had this, it's the Super Swig out of Trim Healthy Future. It's basically a little bit of fruit and a whole lot of greens. And it's really good. It's really good. It's just a good addition to a meal. And it gives you a wrap ton of your greens trim health future page 42 all right i'm gonna make oh my daughter just woke up <laughs> my husband's outside cleaning up the snow so i thought this was a good time to make brekkie i just um got home from sam's club we just went and did some shopping i bought sweet peppers look aren't they pretty i don't really like peppers but i'm gonna try grilling them and i'm gonna make the navy seal soup this week i think they were on sale so okay breakfast chimichangas i don't know if it's a thing but i'm gonna try it good morning jessica i don't even know if it's a thing i never made it before but i was sitting i'm probably not the only person that does this but i sit in my chair at night and dream about breakfast <laughs> i have i have dinner at like 5 30 6 usually somewhere around there and then i try not to eat anything else until bedtime Sometimes when I go to bed at like nine, I'm like, my stomach's starting to growl a little, but I ignore it. I go to bed and the next, so I lay there. Hey babe. Hi. Good morning. I lay there and think about breakfast. <laughs> what should I make for breakfast tomorrow? I don't know. I don't know. So I thought, love the super swig and the realize it, right, it, right? Turn it down, sweet girl. Nobody wants to listen to that. <laughs> All right, so anyway. What is amazing with laughing cow cheese and everything bagel seasoning, Jessica? Oh, the peppers. I bet they are, that's a good idea. I could fill them with cream. I'd eat anything filled with cream cheese. So, all right. So, I've made chimichangas, beef chimichangas at supper time before out of Wonder Wraps and they were bomb. So I'm gonna try um, breakfast ones. I need to stop drinking this because look, <laughs> it looks so gross on camera. All right, so I whisked up some Wonder Wrap, which is from page 204 of Trim Healthy Cookbook. And I whisked it up and it's been sitting. I like to leave it sitting for, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. I also left the garlic and onion powder out because I'm going to make one sweet and one savory chimichanga. And so I did not want garlic in my sweet chimmy because I think that would sound horrendous. So let me pull you over here. All right, here's my, uh, I don't know how well you'll see, but I'll do my best to show you. Wonder wraps are tricky. They either come out perfect or fall into a million pieces, so. We'll see. You gotta spray your pan good. <clears throat> and I can't remember what does it say to use. Just a couple of, yeah, rounded tablespoons. But I'm probably gonna make it. I made a little bit extra just, in, just so I'd have enough. Looks pretty good. See, it's just a runny batter of nothing. I mean, it's nothing. There's nothing in it. It's literally your cooking air. And then you get your pan good and toasty. You want your, it says 275, but I don't have a thermometer. It says to heat your stovetop to 275, which makes me laugh because am I the only person on the planet that doesn't have a thermometer on my stovetop? Like, I don't know what 275 is. I don't know. And I don't have one of those infrared things. That would be way too high tech. Oh, I can't get my cream cheese open. I need to let my cream cheese soften a little. I'm gonna put a little creme cheese in my stuff. All right, 
let's see. I what I like to do is just put a little drip and see what it does. Yeah, it's cooking. So, all right. I don't know if you can see this or not. I'll do my best to show you. I mean, it's not hard. I I mix it right before I pour it, so it's not because it kind of separates. So a couple big tablespoons. Spread it as fast and as far as you can. Hopefully, I think it's a little thick today. I think I made it a little too thick. I need a little more water in it. I'm gonna add a little more water before I make my next one. So, yeah, it's way too thick. You know what? I'm gonna add a little water right now. I try, now it's way too thin. Well, whatever. There, that's better. It's gotta be kind of thin to really spread around good. Cause you want these, to be able to make a chimney, you gotta be able to fold it and fry it. So you gotta get it kind of big. So yeah, I'm no expert. Gordon Ramsay would have a conniption right now. If he saw me trying to make, he'd be like, that's not how you make a crepe, you donkey. All right. They cook super quick but I've learned you don't want to. So there, see what it looks like. It's just spread all over my pan. I don't want to flip it before it's ready, but I don't want it to be too cooked too. So yeah, yeah, it looks good. There's one. I saw it at Sam's Club this morning. They had egg thins they were like giant they reminded me of wonder wraps um that they're made of egg white but they also had a whole bunch of crap that you don't need in it they had um i can't remember there was ingredients that i looked at and went mm -mm. it had sucralose in it i thought why did they put sucralose in an egg wrap was that necessary probably not uh there was a couple other things in it i can't remember what yeah, well, because I almost wanted to buy those. All right, that's done. So we got one. Gotta spray your pan every time because uh, Lori, you are not weird at all because it is my dream for Gordon Ramsay to call me a donkey. That's my dream. Me and Gordon could be BFF. See, it's thinner this time, so it's better. That's what it should do. That's perfect. So uh, I just added a little extra water if you saw me. Perfect. Get all that out. All right, that was awesome. So I only needed two. I mean, you can make three or four out of this batch if you make them smaller, but there, I made them, I made them pretty, pretty big. You need this spatula, Sarah, it's from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> so you too can have a fancy flipper like KJ. <laughs> I like to pull, like, pull it up on the edges just to make sure it doesn't burn. I find the pan gets pretty smoky. See, you think I'm a good flipper, but I just screwed that one up royally. I just broke my whole, yeah, my whole wonder wrap. That's okay. It all eats the same. Ugh, it may not fry or look pretty, but it'll eat the same. Good enough, close enough. I'll pull it apart when it's done. I got a big hole in my Wonder Wrap. So now I have one perfection and one that looks like I made it. <laughs> oh, they, they cook pretty quick. Plus I'm gonna be frying them in some coconut oil, so. All right, if you haven't had Wonder Wraps, I tell you, I say, go, go buy masa and make the masa version of the Wonder Wraps because they are phenom. All right, all right, I'm gonna move back over here for a minute because <laughs> there's better lighting. Okay, so I got one beautiful Wonder Wrap. Look at that, it's perfect. The other one is not. 
<laughs> the other one looks like this. But once it's cool, it'll st it's too hot right now to kind of, it's okay. It's okay. All right. I did, Cam. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. So I said one savory and one sweet. So I think I'm going to make the savory first. I'm going to make one with bacon, egg, and cheese. So let me get an egg. One egg. It's very difficult to make bacon and some, do I want fresh mozzarella? Uh, no. No. Where's my cheese? Where's my cheese? Marin, where's the cheese? Here it is. Okay. I buy cheese like this. I found bag. I don't need a ton of it, but can you freeze the Wonder Wraps? Yes, you can. I have done them. I've made, there's a family batch recipe. Um, Bonnie, you do not want to see my hair today. This is why I'm wearing a hat because I went to the store and I wasn't going to go to the store looking like this. That's why I'm wearing a hat, girl. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, freeze them. Lay them with like wax paper or parchment in between. Probably wax paper would be a lot cheaper. Um, and then just lay them flat in a bag and slide them in. And it, it worked. I've only done it once. It was a long time ago, but it did work. Oh, Bonnie. You're my stalker. All right. I'm going to cook a scrambled egg. I really want to cook a Gordon Ramsay scrambled egg. Let's make a Gordon Ramsay scrambled egg. Because Gordon knows what he doing. All right. The masa version is on, I don't know if it's on the Trim Healthy website, Sarah, but if you go on Pinterest and look up masa wonder wrap, you'll find it. It's also been on the page like a million times. So if you search the Facebook page, you will find it. All right. Gordon Ramsay egg. One scrambled egg. With a little bit of water. Like... Couple tablespoons, medium heat, and a whisk. I need a whisk. Where's my whisk? Didn't I have it? Uh oh. Here's my whisk. You gotta have my whisk. It's muy important. Okay. Scramble it up on the heat. You gotta use a dipper. Well, Michelle, I've heard that too, but they, they don't, they don't mix it with sawdust. It's, it's cellulose, it's a uh, cellulose fiber, which is part of wood, but not the wood. And it's used in lots of our foods, that cellulose fiber. It's a preservative that keeps it from sticking. It's not really wood. So I buy appreciate it all the time. So the Gordon Ramsay egg, you gotta take it off the heat, whisk it, put it back on the heat for a minute. On and off, on and off, on and off. Gordon would be proud. He'd still call me a donkey. I tried to make Wonder Wraps 2017. I don't wonder why I never tried them again. <laughs> Epic fail. Try, try again. I think I put too much water in my egg. That's not a surprise. It slowly starts to come together. You watch me screw this up and have to do it again because I put too much water in my egg. Water in your eggs makes them so much creamier than cream, if you didn't know that. Water in the eggs is the bomb. If you don't like your eggs soft, like, I don't want to say runny, but soft, then don't do this. Because this, uh, yeah. This is, they're soft this way. I know you're thinking, really? She's spending that much time scrambling an egg? All right, it's slowly coming together. I gotta take it off the heat again. See, see how it's like whippy and light? It's coming together. Back on the heat. I'm gonna put, he uses, um, what is it he puts in his? He puts... 
uh, Marscapone in his. I do not. Because <laughs> who has Marscapone in the house? Is that something people actually... <sighs> Is that something people actually like? Have in their house? Marscapone? Like, that's on the British Baking Show. That's the only thing I ever see it on. All right. Yes, moist is the right word to describe my eggs. They're moist. I hate that word. All right. I just put a little bit of Greek yogurt in there. You could use sour cream. I know some of you are going to be like, oh my gosh, that egg looks horrific. But it ain't. It's delicious. Yes, Emily. Yes. Yes, he does put butter in his egg, Sarah. You're right. I knew I was missing something. It was butter. That's all right. It's butter, not water. How, how did I confuse butter and water? <laughs> all right, it's all right. It's all right. Who cares? They're soft. Right, Christine, fancy. I'm not fancy. I got way too much water in my egg because I confused water with butter. What a, see, I am a donkey. I am a donkey. All right, well, that's okay. They still look fluffy, look. Fluffy eggs, all right. So my eggs are done. Now I have my insanely difficult bacon to cook. I'll just grab a couple of slices. I know some people would die before they would eat bacon from a package that wasn't even refrigerated when I bought it because it doesn't need to be. It's that preserved, but I'm okay with that. Pop that in the microwave for about 30 seconds. What else did I say? I was gonna put cheese. All right, I gotta get my pan, wipe my Wonder Wrap remains out of my pan. I'm gonna use coconut oil to fry this puppy. All right, hold on. I don't wanna get my boobs in the screen. Hold on. Oh, you guys don't need that this morning. Yeah, Lori, that's it. We use butter like water. That... I knew it wasn't water. When I did it, I thought this doesn't seem right. But, oh well. Ah, oh, yes, yes, okay. So I'm gonna get a little bit of coconut oil going in my pan. Just a wee bit, don't need a whole lot. I am way low on coconut oil. I just went to Sam's Club and they didn't have refined and I don't like, I have this little tiny jar because it was my backup jar and I ran out. All right, you get that sizzling. I'm gonna use my ugly Wonder Wrap for the bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> Bonnie, all I need is some okra with it, right? <laughs> uh, all right, so now I'm going to take my plate. I should have done so. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. I don't even know. I'm going to put my sloppy eggs <laughs> my watery eggs this one is not gonna wrap up very well oh look at those eggs don't they look good they look like something right out of a right out of a I don't know restaurant on the strip in Vegas I don't know, I don't know. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper and I'm gonna put my bacon in there probably gonna break it in half here and I'm gonna put a little sprinkle of cheese Just a wee bit. All right, don't need a ton. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna attempt to turn this into a chimichanga and it ain't gonna happen, just FYI. She's gonna be a royal mess. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. It's falling apart bad. <laughs> okay, well. I did this with beef once and it did come out good. This one uh, is not looking so pretty, but you know what? It's gonna taste fine. It's gonna taste fine. There's my Dollar Tree spatula right here. All right. Oh, jeepers, that is splattering and I'm getting like scalded over here. 
I'm getting all injured. Look what I did to my finger last night. Look at my big slice. Can you see it? I know I'm a wimp. <laughs> uh, them wet eggs will pull together. Yeah, Emily, it's gonna come out perfectly with my wet. <laughs> You know what? It's going to taste beautiful. Oh, it's fried and crispy. All right. Okay, that looks awesome whether it's a little sloppy or not. Doesn't matter. My daughter is over on the couch completely ignoring me. She's like, what? <laughs> it's nothing for her now to have her mother cooking on video. She's like, oh yeah, she's at it again. She wants me to start a YouTube channel. <laughs> I think I'd be an epic fail. I do have a YouTube channel, but I got like three videos on it. What? Oh, well, okay. It's getting good and crispy. I want it to be really crispy, crunchy. You know what I don't have is salsa, and that's what this needs, is salsa and sour cream. On bacon, she says. Salsa and sour cream on bacon. That sounds horrible. She's nuts. All right, I was going to turn on that thing, but everybody's awake, so it doesn't matter if the fire alarm. All right, you guys. It may not be shaped perfectly. Let me take that off the heat. But that looks tasty either way, whether it's perfect or not. All right, moving on. What, baby doll? Yeah, when I'm done, okay? You'll be fed when mama's done. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, KJ eggs. The, yeah. I don't know. All right, what am I looking for? My other Wonder Wrap. I laid it on top of my cheese bag. All right. This one is going to come out nice. I need another plate. I'm going to dirty four dishes in the process of making this one Wonder Wrap. All right, this one come out better. I'm, this one... I'm gonna nail people. All right. This one, I'm gonna put a little bit of cream cheese. And this alone is probably going to ruin my wrap because it's too firm. I'm gonna put it in the microwave. I'm not gonna ruin this wrap. All right. Oh my word. I'll tell ya. I'm a hot mess. Hot mess express. All right. I'm going to nuke that for just a couple seconds. Serene would die if she saw the way I cooked. Really? Ooh. And it's popping already. I just need it softened. Jeepers. It's sizzling after four seconds. Okay. How come she Serene doesn't use a microwave like mama for everything. <laughs> All right, can you see? No. All right. I'm just spreading a little, it's not a ton, doesn't need to be a ton to taste good. I've learned that. Cream cheese is yummy, but you don't need four tablespoons. So, all right, a little bit of cream cheese. There's probably a half teaspoon. I'm gonna put some fresh raspberries in it because they're super fresh and super ready to be cooked. Fresh. Oh, I need chocolate sauce for this one, but I don't have any made, so. All right, fresh raspberries, and I'm gonna put a little bit of super sweet. I mean, gentle sweet, not super sweet. Gentle, little bit of gentle. I've gone through four bags of gentle sweet since November. How ridiculous is that? Somebody's eating too many sweets. All right. Hey. right. Not you, child. You wouldn't eat gentle sweet to save your life. All right, let's heat up my pan again. So I'm gonna add just. A tiny bit more, just a wee bit, doesn't need to be much. Doesn't take a lot. Turn her on, crank her up, baby. All right, this is exciting. All right, this one is going to roll much better. It's going to look more like a chimichanga and less like a pile of food. Okay, look at that. Beautiful, 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 all right. Let's get this cranking. This is going to be yummy, you guys. I'm going to top this one with a little bit of yogurt, Greek yogurt. 
I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I just can't have it. Alright. Alright. Oh, it's not sizzling yet. You gotta wait. It's gotta when you put it in there. You gotta hear that. Alright. It is pretty, isn't it, Bonnie? It came out. I'm gonna keep messing with it until it's not pretty anymore because that's what I like to do. Alright. Okay, it's a little sizzling. Another dirty dish. Look, my kitchen was clean. I cleaned my kitchen last night, and then before I left this morning, I put stuff in the dishwasher. Just look look around, okay? This is just making two chimichangas, okay? This, this is my only problem with Trim Healthy. <laughs> if I wasn't doing it on video, it probably wouldn't be quite so dramatic. I gave the phone down there. It probably wouldn't be quite so bad because I'd be putting stuff away, but... All right, all right. This is gonna be good. This one's gonna have to cook a little bit longer to get those raspberries warm and get that cream cheese all melty and yummy. Finish my little super swag while I'm waiting. You guys. This thing is totally the way to start the day. You get three cups of veggies in before you even have your breakfast. Mm -hmm. And it's really good. They're really ugly on the teeth, but it's really yummy. All right, time to flip that baby. Oh yeah. It's coming together. You know, buddy, that's an idea. Bro ooh. I could make a broccoli and cheese chimichanga. No raspberries, but broccoli and cheese. Yes, Emily. Jean, yes. And I'm gonna do that. Angel, this is the super swig from Trim Healthy Future. It is a whole lot of vegetables and it's really good. It's really good. She's smoking now, baby. Whoop, so I shut the fan off. And if you don't put your super swig in a wine glass, it's not as healthy. This is way better this way. Mm -hmm. But you gotta wipe your teeth if you're on video. All right, whoo, baby, that is smoking. But I wanna, oh, you guys, you guys. I gotta bring you over here while I flip it, cause look at this baby. Look at this baby. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like the best thing you eat all day. And it's full of fruit. Oh my gosh. I can't wait. Okay. I am going to top that with some of my very well spread. And a little bit of yogurt. KJ's version of smoking and drinking. Legit, right? <laughs> I'm drinking a super swig and letting the fire alarms go. All right. Let me see. I want you to be able to see my dish. Mine was... I put... Um, Jenna, mine has... Excuse me. Has uh, the greens powder in it. Oh, excuse me. Heck. Has the greens powder in it with the veggies. I think that's why mine's such an ugly green. And I didn't have fresh straw, uh, frozen strawberries. I only had berry mix. So I picked the strawberries out, but they had some raspberries stuck to them. So, all right, a little bit of yogurt, Greek yogurt. You know what? You're gonna think I'm crazy, but Greek yogurt tastes 100% like sour cream if you tell your brain it's sour cream. So I'm gonna put Greek yogurt on my savory one with a little salt and pepper. Let's hope I don't get them mixed up and put salt and pepper on my raspberry. That'd be gross. And a little cheese, okay. If I had salsa, I'd put it, but I don't, I ran out. And on this one, the fruit one, I put, um, same stuff, uh, brain cramp. Brain cramp. Oh, oh my God, I'm having a brain fart. I can't think what I was saying. 
Oh, Raspberries. No, it doesn't hurt to have a brain fart, Marin. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little bit of gentle sweet, a little sprinkle. If I had like one of those little things I do like they do on the cooking show, but I don't. Oh, and I'm gonna put my berry wow spread. Remember yesterday when I made this and it was all runny and I said, just let it sit, you guys. Look at this berry spread. That stuff is the bomb.com. Let me just tell you, I'm gonna put a little bit of that on there. Okay, really? How flippin' awesome. Bacon, egg, and cheese, Jimmy. Raspberry cream cheese, Jimmy. I am glad my brain works the way it does because, all right, I'm gonna eat it. It's crispy on the outside. Those Wonder Wraps fry up so, I don't love them just by themselves, but man, you fry them and I'm on board. You fry anything, I'm on board. But I, I cut, I, bought, I made the masa ones one time, cut them into triangles and fried them like tortilla chips and they were, they were, all right, here you go. Mm-hmm. It tastes like a bacon, egg, and cheese burrito. It's really good. The outside is crispy. I think it needs a little more salt. Yes, Angel, go make them. Oh my gosh. They're so good. Yeah. All right. This bacon, egg, and cheese one's good. And I mean, it took a little effort. I probably wouldn't want to make this for a whole family, but fortunately for me, I don't have to because they won't eat what I make. So I don't care. All right. I'm excited to try the raspberry one. Oh my gosh, you guys, that looks, look at that. Doesn't that look yummy? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am happy, happy, happy with these. Nikki, I bet you could air fry them. I don't know why not. You could just spray the outside with coconut oil and then fry them. That cream cheese inside, there's a recipe out there somewhere that for a, like a cream cheese berry taco that I've had before in a low carb tortilla is really good. This reminds me of that. The Wonder Wrap really gives it some bulk and it's got, it's gonna fill you up because it's got psyllium husk and egg in it, egg whites. So it's gonna fill you up. Look at that, isn't that yummy you guys? Mm. I can't decide. I think the raspberry one's my favorite. I don't know, the other one's really good too. So that was fun. That was fun, something new. If you can think of anything weird I can make that either doesn't have a recipe in the book, because I can't share the ingredients if, I, if it's from the book. But if you have a recipe on Pinterest or somewhere that's weird, I'll make it. If I've never tried it before, I'll make it live because I think it's fun. All right, I'm gonna go eat my chimmies, drink my super swig, look you guys. I have filled this twice. This is how much of this drink you get. So, cheers. Yum. Go drink your super swigs. <laughs> she tell her she's making broccoli and raspberry chimichangas. Oh, when I make myself a THM meal, my family won't eat it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting to be that way. I've always been... I've always cooked my own meals. And Maren's going, please feed me. Sorry, I'm talking with you guys. Um, yes, yeah, Sarah is very good without the duo. This is just a little more earthy with the duo. I prefer it without, but I want the duo. Um, what was I saying? Maren, what was I saying before you interrupted me? I forgot. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I totally lost my. <laughs> Jessica has a no bake lemon curd cheesecake. Oh, I know what I was going to say. I was saying I've gotten where I'm, tr I've always made my meals 
and their meals separately. So I'll cook a meal and then whatever meat they're having, I'll have it with a salad or I'll adapt it to me or I'll have my own side, but I still make them their food. But the addition of yellow potatoes has been a game changer because now I can roast yellow potatoes and everybody will eat them as a side. Um, I have started making more soups that I know they'll eat. Yesterday I made the chicken and dumpling soup and they, I split it out, put some rice in theirs because they like chicken rice soup. So I put some rice in theirs and they ate that and then I put the dumplings in mine. So that went twice as far, but it's difficult because you know, they don't, they don't eat a lot of what I eat, but they wouldn't eat this to save their lives. As delicious as this looks, they would not eat this because of the wrap. They'd say, I don't know what's in that wrap. I'm not eating it. There's no way, but whatever, more for me. I don't care. Now they want frozen hash browns. Can you imagine giving up this for frozen hash browns? Whatever. Whatever. All right, guys. I will let you go. I'm going to go eat my chimmies. And no, Nikki, the dumplings were not smushy. They were silky and pillowy and light and delicious. I absolutely loved the dumplings. I'm used to making dumplings that are made out of Bisquick that are heavy and dense, and I do like those, but these were light, pillowy. Oh, they're so good. They make fantastic. The dumplings are, they're a little bit of effort. There's a little few steps to them, but it is worth it. It was snowing outside. We got almost 10 inches of snow, so it was totally worth it to have a dumpling soup, chicken dumpling soup in the snow. So, all right, you guys. I hope you all have a fantastic Sunday. I'm gonna try to make sourdough today. My starter is bubbling. I'm gonna try to make some cranberry starter. Um, I'm, what else am I gonna do? I don't know, that might be it, cause I have a whole bunch of soup. I'm gonna feed my daughter, cause she's dying. She's going to starve to death. Um, and I'm gonna watch some Gordon. I'm gonna have a relaxing Sunday. All right, you guys, I love you all. Have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll talk to you super soon. Bye.